right at the end of a nice quiet circle in the Secord Woods neighborhood. That gravel driveway. You got pretty outdated windows. So those are the windows on the front side. There's your main entrance there. And the window up top. Pretty rough. Need an air conditioner. You do have a pretty nice fenced in backyard. It's quite nice. It's a piece of crap deck. I mean, maybe you could salvage a little bit of it with some new boards, but one window on the back and a patio door. The siding needs to be done as well. Let's have a look at the roof. Holy smokes. The roof is terrible. Well, it needs shingles. That's for sure. I'm gonna head inside. Cosmetically, it's really not a big deal at all. It's gonna be the furnace, air conditioner, roof, and windows and siding that's gonna cost the most. Come inside, get a decent floor plan. You can easily just run new flooring in here, nice and cheap, just like we've done lots of times in the past. These floors are all garbage. They were poorly installed and they smell funny. Okay, you got a nice big living room. And then you've got a nice big uh, kitchen slash dining room with a nice patio door off to the back. Got a lot of potential. This could be a nice kitchen. Really nice. With just a ripping it out and redoing it, of course. But and upstairs, you've got some ugly carpeting, some patches in the wall, things like that. But nothing really too crazy. Oh, nothing too crazy. Got a new uh, closet there. Gonna need, and then you also got basically, yeah, like you just gotta skim coat all the walls with some mud, ceilings, and structure of the house is great. Like it's not going anywhere. There's no cracks or anything in the ceilings. They just need a fresh coat of paint on all the ceilings and walls, and then someone to go around and putty up all the marks on the walls. Fill the nail holes and stuff. And redo the trim and the doors and the floors. We could paint this railing probably. And uh, bedroom number two. Okay. There's bedroom number three. This is the bigger one. It has a his and a hers closet. There's the backyard. This is a decent sized room for sure. And then you got your bedroom, your bathroom here. There's nothing to write home about. I mean, the vanity, I suppose you could salvage it with a new faucet, put some new caulking on there, keep the counter and the sinks actually not bad. And the vanity's not bad either if you just painted it so it wasn't so grubby looking. The toilet's fine, you could reuse that, put some new light fixture in. New mirror. You actually got a decent tub kit in here too. Just clean it up. So the bathroom really doesn't need much. Just paint, trim, and some new vinyl floors. And a light fixture would do this thing up real nice, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly show you the basement. The basement, we would just put a door here and leave it unfinished. I mean, I'd fill the holes with some mud and I'd repaint it paint the stairs going down but I wouldn't actually bother with finishing it because I don't think you need it to get any rent okay but then you got this kind of space here got good high ceilings there's lots of room hot water tanks a rental this is your laundry area um, you're gonna need a new electrical panel those are just fuses and you definitely need a new furnace and then over here on the right hand side, they've kind of framed in this wall here. It's kind of just this weird little room, which is really dark, but a little tiny window up there. So I would just rip all these ceiling tiles right off and just open it up and 
leave it unfinished and that's it